Let's jumpstart today talking about weaknesses. There is this joke, but it's short, so you have to follow me closely here, okay? Light travels faster than sound. That's why some people appear bright until they speak. Do you get it? You wanna hear it one more time? Okay. Light travels faster than sound. That's why some people appear bright until they speak. Oh my gosh, if that isn't the sentence that sums me up, I don't know what is. I know this isn't exactly a flattering thing to reveal, but it happens to me all the time. Like the other day, I'm at a youth festival and my friend Colin comes up to me and he's with a guy holding a camera. He says, I'm doing a documentary for kids about virtue. Can I ask you a couple of questions? So I'm with my grandson, Cade, and my daughter, Taylor, who's in from LSU. I say, sure. Well, the camera starts rolling and I can't think. Seconds begin ticking by and I start to speak about goodness and how it is hard to sustain goodness. And then I lost my train of thought. So we cut. Then we start again and I start talking about prayer and how important it is to stay connected. And I couldn't figure out how to get the part about virtue tied back into the prayer. I felt like the biggest goof. Here's Colin telling this camera guy that I do these little inspirational videos every day and I'm used to the camera. But the truth is, I am rarely good when I'm forced to speak sensibly off the cuff. I don't know why, my brain panics. It's embarrassing, yes, but it doesn't define me. It's a weakness and we all have them. So today, let's ask him to remind us that it is in our weaknesses that God can use his power and strength to transform us. When we are weak, he is strong. Now go choose to make it a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.